paints found inside the amazing Game Master role-playing starter paint set are back and better than ever because they have been completely reformulated using the new high coverage, high performance, and easy to use Fanatic formulation. On top of that, these paints have gone from their smaller 12 mil bottles to our larger 18 milliliter bottles. With more paint, better coverage, and five free models inside, you won't find a better value in the hobby industry. In this series, we're gonna show you how to paint up the characters found inside this set. Today, let's paint Zersik, the tiefling wizard. Stefan's in the studio to show you how it's done and we'll begin with a coat of the brush on primer found inside the set. Apply this in one light coat, making sure to cover the entire miniature as the primer is what will allow your paints to adhere to it. A neat thing about these Game Master sets is that the colors inside have a color match from the broader War Paints Fanatic range. So when you do run out, just check the label to find the corresponding color and head to your local game store to find the matching replacement from the shelf. In the case with this paint, Chaotic Black is a color match to matte black from the Fanatic range. We'll use this to base coat the cloak of our tiefling wizard. Then we'll use soft leather for the trim of his robes. Next we'll use neutral red for the wizard's skin. You can see how smooth and easy these Game Master paints cover in just one go. Even with a traditionally difficult color like red, they go on nice and easy even when painting smaller details like the trim of the cloak. Next we'll grab some dwarf gold and begin blocking in the armor and ornate details. With orc gray, we'll paint the boots and the hair before painting the stave with plate mail metal. Here's a beginner's tip. If you're new to painting, be sure to refill your rinse cup with clean water or use a different cup altogether after painting with metallic so you don't contaminate any future colors. We'll move on to paint the magical flames and gem with angelic yellow and kraken blue. Be as neat as you can here, but if you do paint outside the lines a little bit, don't worry. You can always go back to your previous colors to tidy up any mistakes. If you're feeling brave, use some lawful white and carefully paint Zersik's teeth. We'll use wildfire orange from the set to add to our flame effect. When painting flames, the brightest point is always nearest the flame's source. In this case, that's the palm of his hand, where we will leave some of that yellow paint showing. You can be a bit loose here, but a good rule of thumb is to paint the tips with your darker color and also paint the edges of a flame for a realistic effect. We're going to apply a wash all over the model with Strong Tone. This paint is designed to run into the recesses of your miniature to add shading and definition. You'll notice that once it's dry, it does darken down the model a bit, so let's clean that up and push the contrast with some simple highlights. First up, we'll go back to our neutral red and paint this over the raised edges of the wizard's skin, leaving that wash to sit in the recesses. We'll repeat this step with dwarf gold on Xerxic's armor. Here you can really see how this base tone highlight adds to the contrast of the mini. Use orc gray to highlight the hair and the boots next. And plate mail metal for the stave that our tiefling wizard wields. Grab some of that crack and blue and apply a simple edge highlight to just the edges of the gem like so. And you can make those flames flicker with a highlight of angelic yellow. To further render that flame effect, apply Wildfire Orange as a shade once again to the tips and follow that up with some Chaotic Black, especially if you have some there on your palette still. You're just gonna apply that to the very tips. Pretty cool, huh? Now, all you have to do is paint the rim of your base using that same color and use our brush on primer to detail the cobblestones on the base. To finish off your mini, use some tufts from our Battlefields range and your wizard is ready to summon supporting spells for your next dungeon adventure. This Game Master role-playing starter paint set is a great beginner set for anyone interested in tabletop RPGs or a fun way to gather a party of your friends for some tabletop adventures. The paints inside are perfect for beginners and advanced painters alike who've leveled up their hobby dexterity. Be sure to stay tuned so you can see how the whole party of five gets painted when you subscribe to the Army Painter's YouTube channel and be sure to also look for these products and more from the Army Painter at your friendly local game store, preferred online retailer, or at www.thearmypainter.com. Dot com.